hope you are doing well in the previous online class conducted on 11th april we revised unit 5 in our today's online class we will go through unit 1 and do a quick revision on it okay these are the syllabus contents of unit 1 morals values and ethics integrating work ethic service learning civic virtue respect for others living peacefully caring sharing honesty courage valuing time cooperation commitment empathy self confidence character spirituality introduction to yoga and meditation for professional excellence and stress management already course materials questions banks and previous semester university question paper have been given to you all hope you all have gone through it so let us go through previous semester question papers see what type of questions from unit 1 were asked okay okay let's start under the topic values in unit 1 questions that were asked in the previous semesters are listed out here you can see that only two more questions have been asked from this topic the questions are number 1 what are human values in engineering ethics 2 what are the values 3 define moral values with suitable examples 4 what are the general characteristics of values so mostly these questions are direct questions so you can study properly under this topic you can easily answer the next topic is ethics under the topic ethics part b and part c questions were asked so part a question is explain the scope and importance of professional ethics in engineering part c question is discuss the role and importance of ethics in engineering you can find both questions are almost same generally part c questions may be any unit so you must prepare for it the next topic in this syllabus is integrity under the topic integrity part a and part b questions were asked you can see that both honesty and integrity were asked together so here the part a question is what is meant by integrity how is it related to work ethics so other part b questions are what is integrity how integrity plays a major factor in work ethics discuss with suitable examples the next question is explain integrity and honesty in ethics the fourth question is 
write short notes on honesty and integrity so generally honesty and integrity uh, are asked together so because both are to some extent related when you studied in the uh, professional ethics and engineering the class i already explained so please take note the next topic is work ethic as far as work ethics concerned one short question was asked the question is define work ethics so direct question so direct definition you can write so now move to the move on to the next topic service learning under the topic service learning part a and part b questions were asked so part a question is define the term service learning so very direct question the definition we can write part b questions are what is service learning why service learning is important explain the characteristics of service learning next question in this part b what is service learning discuss its role in caring and sharing in society with suitable example you can find the answers in any standard book or you can refer my slides because i already i taught this topic in detail in class in my slides also uh, service learning clearly uh, stated and explained so please refer to the standard book and also you can refer my slides the next topic civic virtue civic virtue in the under this topic part b question was asked what is meant by civic virtue and how is it related to respect for others so what is meant by civic civic virtue and how is it related to respect for others under the topic honesty part a and part b questions were asked i already told that both honesty and integrity were asked together two times so under the topic honesty what your question is list out any two aspects of honesty okay what be question sir you can see the write short notes on honesty this question is purely about honesty other two question explain integrity and honesty in ethics write short notes on honesty and integrity it is about part b question as far as the topic courage is concerned part a and part b questions were asked so part a question is what are the two important ways of building courage part b question is what is courage what are the salient features of courage so all direct questions you can easily find the answer in book and also in my slides empathy next topic is empathy under this topic part a as well as part p questions are asked so part a question is define the term empathy and how is it related to emotional quotient then part b questions are define empathy state and explain the elements benefits of empathy and compare empathy with sympathy 
So another part B question is, what is empathy? Discuss its role in the spiritual development for excellence in an organization with suitable ex examples. Please take note, in professional ethics and engineering, wherever possible, you will just provide a relevant and suitable example. So here also they ask for suitable examples. In my class, when I taught in the when I taught this topic, I just gave a number of examples. Please refer standard book or my slides. The next topic is self-confidence. Under this self-confidence, you can see part A and part B questions. So part A questions are what is meant by self-confidence? Another question is what are the qualities of self-confident people. Another question is, define the term self-confident. How is it related to character development? These are all part A questions, direct question. Part B question is, explain the importance of self-confidence in ethics. So all direct questions. So you can find the answers in the book or you can refer my slides. So please study properly. So courage, empathy and self-confidence. So you can go through the textbook. Also you can refer my materials also. You can find the answer. Under the topic character. A part of part B questions was asked. Explain character and spirituality and their importance in ethics. This question is about both character and spirituality and their importance. So please go through it. So next topic is spirituality. Under the topic spirituality, both part A and part B questions were asked. Part A question say define spirituality another question say brief on spirituality both the questions are direct it's a definition something about definition of spirituality part b questions are explain character and spirituality and their importance in ethics explain character and spirituality and their importance in ethics another question what is spirituality? What are the spiritual traits to be developed for excellence in an organization? Discuss with suitable examples. So, uh, spirituality, I can expect part A questions as well as part B questions. Sometimes you can expect part C questions also. So, next topic is yoga, meditation and stress management. So you can expect part A and part B and part C questions from this topic. Part B and part C questions were asked in the previous uh, semester examinations. So your questions are write brief notes on yoga and meditation for professional excellence and stress management. Explain the role of yoga and meditation in the field of professional excellence and stress management. Another question. Discuss the role of yoga for professional excellence and stress management. Explain the role of yoga in professional ethics. These are all part B question. Part C question is explain in detail about yoga and meditation for professional excellence and stress management. Almost the same type of questions. Yoga meditation and stress management. So maybe they ask combined together or maybe the yoga and meditation or yoga and stress management they can ask. So please go through it. Uh, you can refer any standard book or my refer my slides. So don't omit this topic. Please go through my slides or go through textbook.
when we go through previous semester university question papers we get some idea about how questions are asked isn't it in these slides and next slide you can see how questions were asked in the previous semester examination under various topics of unit 1 okay i already gave the complete question bank so unit 1 question bank contains most of the probable questions including the questions of previous semester university examination that are given in these two slides please go through it so reminder study all topics as per syllabus don't omit any topic prepare for part a and part b and part c questions homework take this a homework please go through all questions in unit 1 question bank in that question bank previous semester university questions are given find answers for all question in the unit 1 question bank and study we can refer a textbook also you can refer my slides also so all the very best stay home stay safe so see you in the next online class thank you very much